Okay, this is number 42 on page 14, the warm-up breath support challenge. The, the, the idea of this is to try to hold this note as long as you can, keeping to try, keep trying to hold it longer and longer each time. So the note they give us is F. So Colin's going to play that F. I want you to match the pitch and then just keep trying to hold the note. Play that F for us. Okay, so match that pitch and hold that note as long as possible. Let's do it one more time. F. Okay, play along. Okay, and keep trying to hold that note longer and longer until you can hold it as long as you possibly can. Okay, we're looking on page 14 now in your traditions book, and we're looking at line 43. We have a new type of note here. It's called an eighth note. If you see that the eighth notes in this line are coming on the third beat, and they're counted one, two, three, and four, as you see on, on the screen there. The eighth notes are on beat three. The first eighth note comes on the beat because the quarter note in beat two took all of beat two. So that means whatever comes first in beat three starts right on the number. The eighth note gets a half a beat so the second eighth note would come on the and or the up part of the beat. So if we clap and count that first measure, it would be like this. One, two, three, and four. Do that with me. Clap and count that first measure. Ready? One, two, three, and four. So now let's look at the entire line here of 43. We have four measures, and all four measures are counted the same. So let's let's... Clap and count through number 43. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, and four. 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 Now, it says to repeat, but you can do that on, on your own. We won't do that on this video. We want to make sure that we keep those eighth notes even and steady. So if you're patting your foot, your foot would hit down on the numbers, and the and would be where the foot is all the way up. So it would be like one, two, three, and four for the quarter notes and eighth notes. So practice that some, and then we can play that together. Okay, now that we've clapped and counted through 43, let's play this on the pitch that it gives us. It's a D. So here we go, let's play this together. One, two, ready, now. One, two, three, and four. 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 Okay, keep backing that recording up and playing along with it, as well as counting along with it. Okay, now we're looking at number 44, Michael Finnegan. We're going to finger and say the note name. So you can watch Colin's fingers as we go through the names. Here we go. One, two, say in finger first four. B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat. D, F, D, D, B flat. C, 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 A, C, A, A, A. And that is an A natural second valve because there's not a flat on the A space in the key signature. All right, let's count and finger while Colin plays. Here we go. One, two, count and finger. Now, one, two, three, and four. 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 All right, now play along. First four measures. Here we go. One, two, ready, begin. One, two, three, and four. 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 Now that repeats back. The first inning takes us back to the beginning where we play the first two measures again. Then we do the second ending. So now let's look at the second ending. Let's say the note names in finger. Ready? Say in finger. For second ending. Now, F, E flat, D, D, C, B flat, B flat, B 
B-flat, B-flat, B-flat. Okay. Now let's count and finger while Colin plays the second ending. One, two, count and finger. Now, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. All right, let's play that second ending. One, two, play along now. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Now, keep backing the recording up and going over these sections until you've got it worked out to where you can play all the way through. So now we're going to play all the way through number 44, taking the first ending, repeating back to the beginning, skipping the first ending the second time, and taking the second ending. Here we go. Horns are up. One, two, ready, now. First ending. Repeat to the beginning. Second ending. So keep backing this recording up and going over that until you have that completely worked. We're looking at line 45 now, and the eighth notes here are put on beat four. So we would count that measure one, two, three, four, and. We have a quarter note on beat one that gets a full beat. So the second quarter note has to start on two. It gets a full beat. So the third quarter note has to start on three, it gets a full beat. So the first eighth note would have to come on four, because that's the next available part of a beat. It gets a half a beat, so the second eighth note would come on and. So if we clap and count that first measure, it would look like this. One, two, three, four, and. So let's go ahead and clap all the way through the line. Here we go. One, two, begin with me. One, two, three, four, and. 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 So if we're patting our foot, our foot's going down on one, down on two, down on three, down on four, and up on and, and back to one. One, two, three, four, and one. So we keep the, e the eighth note even, and those eighth notes are coming on beat four. Now we're ready to go ahead and play through the line. Now that we've clapped and counted 45, we're going to play through this. So we're going to pick up your instruments. We're using D. The eighth notes in this are on beat four. Here we go. Ready? One, two, ready, now. One, two, three, four, and 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 keep backing this recording up and say say the counts along with Colin playing and play along with it. Now let's look at number 46. We're going to finger and count through this, so Colin's going to play and we're going to finger the notes and say the counts the first time for the first four measures only. Here we go. First four measures, finger and count. One, two, finger and count. Now, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, hold four. One, two, three, four, and one, hold two, three, hold four. All right, now let's play that together, the first four measures. One, two, ready, now. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, hold four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Good. Now let's look at the second ending. Let's finger and count the second ending while Colin plays the second ending. Here we go. One, Two finger count the second ending. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, hold four. All right, now let's play that second ending together. One, two, play the second ending. Now, one, 
two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, off. Now that we've gone over this in sections, we're going to play all the way through 46. I suggest that you listen to this recording, finger and count, finger and say the note names, and then, finger, then play along with the recording. Just keep backing it up. So now let's play together all the way through 46. One, two, ready, go. backing this up and going over it until you have the counting and the playing down. Now we're looking at number 47, Baja Breeze. This is normally a test item, so you want to spend a little extra time on this so that you're ready for a grade when this comes around. We're first, we're going to go through and we're going to say the note names and finger for the first four measures. So let's do that together. Here we go. Say and fingering. Ready? Now. B flat, C, D, 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 E flat, D, C, 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 A, B flat, C, 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 B flat, C, D, rest. Now all the B's are flat because of that first flat sign in the key signature on the second line. All of the E's are flat because of the flat sign on the third space in the key signature. But in that first ending, that low A is not flat. It's A natural because there's not a flat in the key signature for A. So we just have to carry those flats all the way through. Now let's finger and count while Colin plays the first four measures. One, two, ready, now. Now let's play along. First four measures. One, two, ready, now. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, rest. All right, now look at the uh, second ending. Let's say the note names and finger here. Second ending. Ready, now, go. F, G, D, C, C, B flat, rest. B flat, B flat, B flat. So those Bs are flat because of that first flat on the second line in the key signature. Let's finger and count that while Colin plays the second ending. Ready? Two, and now. Two, three, four, and one, rest. Three, and four. Now let's play that second ending together. Two, ready, begin. One, two, three, four, and one, three, and four. All right. Keep backing the video up and going over these segments until you have them completely worked out. Then put it together. I would suggest that you finger and count with the recording as well as playing along with it. So let's play all the way through Baja Breeze now. From the beginning, take the first inning, repeat back, skip the first inning, and take the second one. Here we go. One, two, ready, begin. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, and four. First inning. Repeat back, beginning. Second ending. Rest. So keep backing this up and going over it. Work out in sections. Play all the way through. And keep playing it until you're ready to take a grade on this.